welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to integrate chat gpt in ui path so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started to integrate the chat gpt with ui path what you need to do is you need to create an account with openai.com and you also need a secret key along with that you will require to have the endpoint url right so we will see all that in this video let's go to the openai.com i have opened the openai.com right and here i have option to log in and sign up if you have not created an account yet you can click on sign up and then you can enter your email address continue and you can create an account once you are done you can click on login and here you need to enter your credential if you already have a google account you can continue with the google account and if you have an account with microsoft you can use that as well so i will log in with my credential and then we will proceed so here i am logged in with my credential now i will go to the documentation on the documentation page you can learn about this open ai and chat gpt what is prompts and completions tokens models right about all these things you can learn but for now we will move to the api reference here we have an introduction how you can you know interact with the api through http request okay. and then i will move to the models if you want to list the model this is the endpoint url that you can use for this you need to have the api key you can generate the api key by going to the profile and now you have to click on view api keys from here you can click on create new secret key once you will click on new secret key you will have an option to copy it in the clipboard new secret key has been created i can clock i will click on this to copy it in the clipboard i will click on ok and i will save it in the notepad so this is my secret key now again i will go to the documentation i will go to the api reference and then i will go to the models so let's use this you know endpoint url let's just copy it i will go to the ui path studio and then i will look for http i have http request and here i'll paste the url here you can see the method is get so i will use get method to get all the models right let's add some parameters we are going to have the parameter as you know content type the type should be http header because that is going to be our header in this api call and here i'm going to add the content type and the value of it is going to be application slash json 
in the authentication i have to use oauth2 and in the access token i have to paste the secret key which we have already created and now i will click on okay right in the body format what i will do is i will make it application json and in the response content i will press ctrl k to create a to create a variable which is response values in the status code I can press Ctrl K and name the variable as status. I will pull the right line method. I will put a breakpoint and then I will run the bot. I will go to the locals panel and then I will look for response and here you can see that all the models are listed here right here we have text the Vinci 003 then we have the Vinci so these are the models available in you know in the chat GPT I will click on OK I will cancel it I'll stop the bot now what I will do is I will use the deserialize function or activity I will drag it up I will specify the you know value which is response values and i'm going to store this object as response json right i'll go to the variables and here you can see the type of it is newtonsoft.json.link.j object right now what i will do is i will use the for each loop i will drag it here and here i'll specify the response json right and then i will drag the log message activity to print the value of current item i will specify the current item and I will put a breakpoint before I you know execute the for each loop to understand like how to extract the value from this uh, response JSON variable so I will run the bot then then i will go to the immediate panel and i will type the response values to print the value of the response values variable now here you can see that it is in json uh, type right and so first of all what we can see here is we have you know a key named which is named as object right and then we have data and inside data we have an array so where again we have you know key value pairs 
and the permission is having the value as you know uh, which is again an array and which has you know a key value pair so this is how the output of you know http request looks like right so let's say if you want to get the data or get the value of object key from the json so you have to use the value of uh, the output of deserialize json activity so the output of deserialize json activities is stored in response json and here you have to specify the key so the key for us is going to be object and when i press enter i will get the value as list right and if i want to get the value of data right so it will return us the array so let's say if i go here and type response json and then i specify the key as uh, data correct then i will get the first array so these are the key values which are specified here and in this if i want to get the key as id then i will get uh, you know in this i have to specify the index first and then i want to get the id of it so i will get the babbage and here you can see it is babbage so this is going to be our first uh, uh, value from the index of the response json correct accordingly if you want to get the value of id inside the permission which is again an array how you can access it to access that what you will have to do is you have to specify the key as permission and once you have this permission you have to you know specify the index which is going to be zero and then you have to specify the key which is id so now you can see here that i have got this value which is id uh, in the permission array right okay so now you have understood that how you can access the keys from the response json variable how you can access the values so i will stop the bot and i will print those values inside the for each loop once you have pulled in the response uh, once you have pulled in the for each loop you have to ensure that you are setting the correct data type in the type argument uh, property okay so you have to click here and then choose the newton soft json dot link dot j object current item in the log message and here i have to specify the key so for us the key is going to be id right now i will put a breakpoint here and i will run the bot and then i will press step into i got the babbage next time it will come and type the vinci right so these are the name of the models in the chat gpt so these are the values that we have got here right and let's say if you want to get the value whatever we have inside the permission array right so what i will do is i will access the permission okay? and then i will specify the index or yes i will specify the index then i will specify the key that i want to get and then i had this id key now i will save it and I will run the bot
I will press step into to execute the next action and here you can see that it has printed the value of ID attribute I will again press step into to get the value from another you know uh, item from the response JSON uh, data okay so let's say so let's say I want to write it into a text file the all the ID attribute how can I write it to do that what I will do is I will create a list data type and then here I will click on create I will name it as uh, chat GPT model ID and in the variable type I will choose as go to browse for types and here I will type list and from here I will choose string I will initialize it as new list of string right because this is going to be the string value so I will choose new list of string so you have to make sure that you always initialize the list uh, type variable before using it otherwise it will give error okay so I will just go ahead and copy this and then here I will choose add to collection or I will choose append item to collection I will specify the variable and item I will specify here as I will click on save I will type it as dot to a string and then click on save and at the end I will come here which is outside the loop and I will use string function string dot join and I want to join it by you know comma and the list I will specify as I will set the scope as outside the body and here I will choose the variable which is chat GPT model ID okay so I will remove this breakpoint and then I will run the bot you can see that here it has written all the model ID and the moment I will press step into you will see that it has written all the model ID which is separated by comma right you can see the comma that I have specified here now what I can do is I can use write text and then I can just drag it 
and here I can specify the text which I want to write so I can just copy it I can come to the text and here I can specify the path where I want to save it so let's say I want to save it as save it inside the D drive right so I will specify the file path as D and the name is going to be model id dot txt i will save it and then i will again run the bot I will click on step into and then write text to file now I will go to the file explorer here you can see that I have a file which is named as model ID and when I double click and open it you will see that it has all the you know model ID which is separated by comma So these are the model IDs which we have right so this is how you can integrate chat GPT with UiPath and you are and in this video you have learned that how you can access the values from the uh, response JSON after using the DCL serialize activity which will help you to you know convert the response from the HTTP action into the JSON object and then you will be able to access the values using the key that you have got right so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question, please post it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.